Hello, 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 everyone. How is everybody doing today? Well, today is the 29th of October, 2022. It's hard to believe the month of October is almost finished. It's almost done. We only have two full days of October finished. I mean, to go. And then we're into the month of November. Oh, my gosh. I hope that winter goes flying by really, really fast. Really, really fast. So, as you can see, I am still plugging away <laughs> at Halloween Sampler. Now, I did get... Um, um, I don't know where I worked on it yesterday, to be honest. I got Spooky done. I finished up Bat's Blood here. I'm working here now on uh, the pumpkins. But I've been so busy watching things on um, knitting and crocheting. And I just want to do stuff. But, first of all, I don't have any yarn. Second of all, I don't have any needles or anything. I did find a crochet hook, but it was a 6.5. And that's way too big. And I can't, I don't know what I want to work on. Do I want to work on um, making knitting socks? Do I want to knit a sweater? Do I want to um, um, do I want to make a Tunisian Afghan? I don't know. I don't know. And it's just it's buggy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Now I know Juliet's got some knitting needles and she's got um, needles in the round because I'd like to work on um, I'd like to make socks and she's got some yarn baby yarn and I like a little bit heavier weight like the sock yarn but um, yeah finances finances huh it's uh and besides that, there's no place to buy it here. And I was looking on Amazon to see if I could buy a cake of yarn. And they have so many beautiful, beautiful colors. Like there's Lion's Brand and Red Heart. And um, just... I looked at some of the yarns there, Leo and Roxy, and I was in the too impressed with them. I mind you, I've never had them in my hands, so I don't know what they're like, of course. Um, but it's I, I just I just want <laughs> I just want to do something. I just want to do something. I want to I want to do something different. So, I am, goodness gracious, let me see if I can bring this up any closer. No, I can't. Oh, maybe I can do it like this. Oh, I'm, I'm having trouble. You know, having these new glasses that I got a year and a half ago, it's, I'm still having trouble. Oh, okay. So, I am just... Okay, so I have to see um, right here. Sydney is playing. It was so nice to see this morning all three of them laying down here in Lily Bell's bed. It was just so nice to see them. And Jonah's up there on the sofa. Um, Sydney was bugging him so much this morning. 
but um, it's uh, okay. So I gotta go there, and then there, and then he kind of left him alone, and uh, he's over here playing with balls. Good thing I had a lot of those bowls left over. And, um, yeah. So see here, the pumpkins are getting, they are getting done. Slowly but surely. Yeah, except surely. That's funny. I don't know. Um, uh, who was it? Leslie Nielsen, I think it was. He had, uh, I don't know if it was airplane or what it was. And somebody would say, but surely you wouldn't, you know, think that's the reason. And he would say, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> or my name's not Shirley. Something like that. I'm going on memory here. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, I know. I'd like to, I would just love to buy some of this yarn and, and, um, and that. I used to have yarn. Oh, my gosh, did I have yarn. And I can't, because I used to knit and crochet a lot. And then I got back into cross stitch, so then I wanted to do that. And that's, that's the thing as crafters we always have a hard time with. Is, you know, ooh. I want to do that. Oh, that's a nice color. I want to do something with that. Oh, that's a nice pattern. I want to do something with that. You know, and <laughs> how many can attest to that? Right? How many of you can attest to that? We've all been there, done that. Yep. So it's... Um, It's always that way, it seems. It's always that way. And then I've got all my cross stitch. And I have got, uh, what is it, sable. Is that right? Sable? Stitch, stitching above stitching beyond life expectancy stitching oh gosh what is that ah something like that anyways and yeah <coughs> It's, uh, <coughs> but I've been watching some of these, um, ladies, oh, and what they do with yarn and <coughs> now that doesn't mean I'm giving up here my, um, my cross stitch. No, 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 no. It's just sometimes I want to do something just a little different for a change. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. It's like I was telling Julia this morning. I said that I just want to have one more kick at the can for that. Just to say, okay, I've made a blanket. Or I've made a sweater. Or I've made... Four pairs of socks or, you know, whatever it is, right? <coughs> and, um, like, it's just... 
I need about 10 more lifetimes. About $20 million. <laughs> and uh, about... Uh, Ten of me. So that I could work on all these things, but feel all these things that I love to, to do. You know, whether stitching or whatever, right? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think it's my asthma kicking in or my allergies. So yesterday I I uh, cleaned the litter box out. I put stuff away back into the um, into the um, pantry room. I, um, oh, this is tricky when you have, when it's on different pages. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so I did that. <clears throat> <clears throat> put books away. Uh, filled the um, bird feeder. Put the suet out for the birds. Um, what else did I do? I know it, I did some more stitching here. I... Um, Good heavens, I don't know what else I did. I don't know what else I did. Yep. Okay, there. And then it goes. <clears throat> goes down over here. Oh, did a load of laundry, hung it outside. Cleaned up a little bit outside. And today I, um, I have to go to the co-op hardware. I got to get some little shrink tubes because my um, very good and expensive um uh electrical cord that I bought last year at Canadian Tire has got some it's kind of I don't know if it was the um the bobcat that had cut strips off mm. So the wire is a little bit exposed, or what, or mice? I don't, I don't know. To me, they don't look like mice. Um, cheese. It looks like something had just gone like this and taken gouges out. <clears throat> so then, um, yeah. So I got to go there, and then I got to go to the um, uh, co-op grocery. I'm gonna pick up some coleslaw and I want to um, I don't know some they have I believe raspberries on sale I think anyways I can't remember I can't remember what the flyer said. Sydney, if he just farts around like that, then it's okay. If he's leaving 
Lily be all alone. Sydney. Sydney. But he is tearing up my chair and my sofa. Okay, so let's see here. Sorry if my arm's in the way. I'm just trying to see. Ooh, come on. Get up there. Okay. So I have three. Okay, so it's right. Sydney! Can you hear how he's just grabbing on there? Oh my gosh. He is jumping more. Like just straight jumping. So he's not clawing so much. But he still is clawing and that part I don't I don't like. Okay, so I gotta go. Where is it? Here. I was watching there on um TV on YouTube there, how they, um, oh my gosh, where were they from? The two girls that were killed six years ago or whenever, uh, 14, a 13-year-old and a 14-year-old, best friends. And they were on this trestle bridge, what used to be a um, train track bridge. <clears throat> and they had no they didn't have much information and they'd been looking for this guy that killed them now apparently they've found him but they're not releasing a lot of information till Monday when they'll have a news conference and I think they should have revealed it to the public sooner than that. Now, some some have shown, I don't know if it's pictures of them or whatever. There's a lot of speculation. But I'm just so happy that they, that they got him so... They're uh, hopefully making an air airtight case to get them. Despicable. Just despicable. What these, oh, these god-awful men do. I don't know why he killed them. I don't think anybody really does. And not sure if he sexually assaulted them. Because that's usually, sexual assault is usually the reason why. And it's just, don't get me started on that. Like that just, that just gets me. Just for what seconds of pleasure by raping young girls and young boys. Yeah, doesn't happen to just girls. I just, oh. You know, because they, these men, these men, and I say that extremely loose, loosely, how they uh, feel that if they want it, that, oh, I can't control my urges, and I can't control this, and I can't control that. Oh, it's because of my upbringing. Sydney. Um, you know, or it's because of drugs. 
you know, poor excuse. Take responsibility for it. And um, deal with it. Just deal with it. I just absolutely, that just gets me. I just, I, I just feel sick. You know, because they, um, there's a certain type of man, man, uh, that they, they have no, they have no, um, filter on them for, you know, what it is that they want. And I'm, I'm sure that probably many of you feel the same. That you feel the same about that. Okay, right there. Go like that. Doesn't really matter anyways because it's just on the pumpkin. Um, and it's just... You know, and... For those who survive, like myself, you know, we're, we're just, this damages who we are, you know, and um, it's just, it's just terrible. But anyways, I'm glad that they got the MFR. I'll just say it like that. Okay. I don't say the word, but I'm just saying that that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay. Yep. So I got there. So now I have to go here. So yeah, so that's that's what I've got planned here this morning. What I'm going to do is go to the hardware and go to the um, store and then over to the over to the library and then over to Juliet's. So. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if many of you heard. Well, probably here in Canada you've heard. But up in Thompson there was a fire in it. There were five children sleeping upstairs and only one was able to get to safety and the other four passed away. Probably smoke inhalation. And um, it was the oldest child that survived. She jumped out of a two-story. I hope she's not injured, but I mean, she's probably emotionally injured, right? Right, so uh, it's it's not that's that's terrible to have to survive that, Sydney. And then I heard about this. I don't know, Oklahoma, in Oklahoma, about eight people that were found dead in a burning house. And there were two adults and six children. It breaks my heart when I when I read things or hear things like that. Like that's just that just breaks my heart. Absolutely does. 
But I have a feeling that the one in Oklahoma is probably that there's more to it than that. I don't think it's just a um, because of of a uh, house fire. I don't I don't think that. Now, I haven't heard anything for sure on it. I'm just saying uh, that I am. I just got this feeling. So. Yeah. But I still haven't put the plastic on the windows, and I have to do that this afternoon. And I mean, like, all of that, this is... This is what's holding me back here from finishing. Well, no, not exactly. I shouldn't say that. Um, I think I'm holding myself back. Why? I'm always like this at the end of a project where I just slow down and slow down. Is it because I really don't want to finish it and move on to something else? I don't know. Does anybody else get like that? I mean, I'm not framing this or anything anytime soon. I am, um, I just want this done, Sydney. Okay. Sid little bugger. Little troublemaker. I dread the day when he can, um, nope, sorry. I dread the day when he can work his way up onto the counter. So far it's not, but he is jumping. Like now he can jump from the sofa over to the coffee table. But, um, or he can take a running a running leap and get himself up on the sofa. If he's right beside it, no, he can't. But um, if he's just, um, if he takes a running leap, you know, then he can. So next month, he is going to go in and get fixed. I will be so happy about that. Because that's something, that's something I believe in wholeheartedly, and that's spay and neuter. There's no reason to be breeding. None. None. Not with the number of cats and dogs and other animals that are out there that are being abused and have no homes and, um, you know, injured and hungry and all that homeless. So, uh, it's not, it's not good. Okay, let me see where I am. So I have to go up here. Is that right? Nope, I think it's here. Okay. And then over to here. So... Yeah, I was looking at some of this yarn. Like, there's the ice yarn. Oh, my gosh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous yarn. And uh, then there is, um, oh, some of the Red Heart, the Lion brand, the Karen Cakes. Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. 
okay so that is right yep and then down to here and then to here oops sorry Well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's coming along. It's logo, I know. So what do you all got planned here for Saturday? I know there are some of you that also do knitting and crocheting projects. You know, years ago, I found a knitting book. And it was from like World War One era, somewhere around in there, the early, early 1900s. And oh my, did they ever have nice, you know, where, where ladies could knit for the war effort to send for um, uh, soldiers, you know, socks and, and uh, leggings and uh, things like that, you know. I used to knit, um, um, what do you call them? <sighs> boot, boot warmers, something like that. You know, where you pull them just up halfway. Up, uh, uh, it goes between your, your ankle and your knee. And, uh, I used to knit those a lot. And, um... But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, something for sure. But, uh, probably a, a lot of us have made, um, baby stuff, right? A lot of the, the baby blankets and outfits and, um, you know, things like that. Uh, I gotta see where I'm going here. So, um, oh, that's up here too. Okay. So I gotta go up here. And I've done that. I've made those big, you know, those nice big heavy sweaters with the animals on the back. You know, from Mary Maxim. I did those years ago. Oh my gosh. I made everybody and his dog some. And I always liked those. And they were warm, warm, warm. Oh my. They were so... Oh, no, right here. Okay, so it's in the wrong spot. Okay, so I go here. Then, um, then I go, is that right? Oh, well. It don't matter. It don't matter as long as it's just. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? There. Close enough. Close enough. Oh my gosh, close enough. It's not like I'm outlining something that's really vitally important. You know, give it some years and I'll forget all about it. So, I got a little bit here. And I know I got a few bubbles here that I needed to. No, that one's done. Yeah, here. 
Yep. So here it's supposed to be 11 degrees or 12 degrees today. Ah, poop. Okay, that one's done. So it'll be, um, it's a nice day. I don't think there's any wind out there, so I've got to fold up my tarp outside. I've got to do that. Oh, yesterday I pigged out, I pigged out on vegetable spring rolls. <laughs> All the things. I had a hankering for vegetable spring rolls. And oh my goodness, I just pigged out. Pigged out. It was the only thing I had for supper, but like one serving, <laughs> one serving was Four. And they were only little ones like this, you know. And so I had, I think I had 14. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, I was gorging myself silly on them. But boy, were they good. Now, I just had salsa for, for sauce. I didn't have the sweet and sour sauce. So I just had that yeah crap so um it was uh it wasn't as bad and they were vegetable spring rolls and they were baked so uh yeah but it's not like I've done anything over the last while. Oh, my. They were so good. So, so good. <laughs> so very good. I felt bloated afterwards. <laughs> Which was funny. <coughs> But, uh, yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you, you just, it's not like I gorge myself silly on chocolate or candies or, you know, bread or, you know, something like that. I didn't do that. But, boy, did I enjoy did I enjoy those sprinkles? <laughs> oh dear, I think I'm going to have to take my puffer. Because I can feel it in my chest. <coughs> and those of you that have, where you have those asthma and that, you know exactly what that feeling is like that tickle way down in your bronchial troops. So, so yes, if you've just joined me, thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I, I just, I don't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there is a dedicated Facebook group called Stitching in the Interlake. All you need to do is name two of my three sidekicks. And um, there, uh, my email address is stitching in the interlake, all one word, at gmail.com. And please like, share, and comment. Uh, tell me where you're from, how did you find me, all that. Um, I'm going to be doing my German video tomorrow. I've decided to do them on Sundays and Wednesdays when I do the face-to-face. -face. I think that's better. <clears throat> so um, if you do speak German, come over, 
have some laughs with me as I try to remember words. Because I have forgotten a lot. Well, not forgotten. They're in my head. <laughs> I just have to bring them forth. I just need to remember them. You know, so um, I would really like it if you could join me for that. And uh, and if nothing else, even if you don't understand, you'll see you'll see me going uh mm, uh. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Yeah, buses does. And uh, so yeah, it's it's a real laugh. So, <clears throat> and I am going to try today to put plastic on those. Windows, oh, gosh, isn't that horrible? Keep saying, and I'm not doing. So up the floors yesterday too. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. So, okay, I've got most of the bubbles done. I I've only got a few here left to do. I don't know where are they. I think that's it. They're just all over here. I have a little bit here to do. And I have here on her shoes to do. And I think there's eye marks here in these eyeballs. Yes, there are. So I have those to do. And, uh, yeah. So it's, um, I really don't have a lot left. I really don't. I just got to kick myself in the butt and do it. So, all right, everyone. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so do Lily Bell and Sydney. And Jonah is up on the sofa in the sunshine. In the sunshine. Yeah. So, all right, everyone. So I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Um, God willing, of course. So thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you have done for me. Yes, for um, just everything that I, I, for all that I am and all that I have, I thank Thank you for that, Lord, and for all my family and friends. So, all right, everybody. Toodle-littles, everybody.